Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Node.js full tutorial series for beginners. In today's episode, we are going to touch base on some other important topics like prototype, object, anonymous uh, function and arrow functions. So that this will cover and set the base for the tutorials and the hands-on examples we are going to do on Node.js. In the previous episode, we have learned about classes objects. So if you have missed on that tutorial, please do check it out. It's important to have the continuation of learning. Welcome back. I'm your host. My name is Sridhar. I welcome you to the channel. This is part five of the Node.js full tutorial playlist. So there are around 25 tutorials that I have planned in this particular series, and I hope you'll find them useful and helpful. So this is the part five. Uh, so today we'll touch base upon prototype, object, uh, what is an object, how do you write anonymous functions and arrow functions. Absolutely important um, when you work and try to read and understand code, these are the things that you would come across more or less. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's start with some of the basic thing first. So what I'm going to do, uh, we are continuing on the same index.js file that we created in the last episode. So first, let me show you to create an, so we have used, first let's create an object, right? So it's a simple object. So how do you define an object? So you can take and say courses, right? Equal to, and then you will define the key value pair, right? So you'll say name, and then you can say Angular or Node or whatever you want to say, and then description. So these are our keys that we want to define, right? Uh, this is, Node.js tutorial series, right? So these are key value pairs, which means we can give any key we want. There is no fixed definition structure to it, right? Um, so that's that's how you can define an object, right? And how do you print the object? You can say object dot at courses, right? So if you run this particular code, you'll see object is printed, right? If here, now if you want to print a particular key from this object, you'll say courses dot uh, say name, it will print only the name of it right now. So you see this node, it's printing because after the object, it's printing node, right? So this is how we can uh, use or will you will see that we will create a lot of objects that you will end up using. So absolutely important that you should know how to write the objects. Now the second thing I want to cover is the functions, right? Uh, a lot of you are little new and beginner to this. So I'm going to show you how do you write functions uh, just like in any other programming language. Um, so I'll say get courses. So this is a method. So you define it by the keyword function followed by the function name brackets and curly brace open close. So this is the scope of the function, right? Now here, if you write, you write the business logic that you want to execute, right? Getting all courses so so this is the method which when will when called and this function will not do anything on its own right uh, because when i run it there will be no output because i have not called the function so there is function definition there is function invocation so here we are calling the function right here we are defining the function in the function and in the next one, we are calling the function, right? So this is about a method, right? Function is also called method. Now the next one that I want to cover is um, anonymous function, right? Um, so what do you do it? So I have it here for your notes. Uh, so this is a function that I just covered. Um, let me show you an example of um, function which can take parameters. So get all, get category courses. So you can pass a category that you want and you can choose that also, right? And you can say category ID, right? So we can pass like this. And again, we have to call the function. So here I will say get category and here I'll pass 10. So now you see it will show you the get category ID 10, right? Because this is a parameter that we are passing, right? So function without parameter, a function which is taking parameter. Now it can take multiple parameters also, any number of parameters. Um, in ES6, if you don't know how many we are passing, we can use the spread operator. Uh, I'll cover that little later, uh, but I'm sticking to basics so that 
um, we both are on the same understanding and you have some basic idea about the uh, basic functionalities that are required for learning node now there is anonymous function right so I always make mistake in uh, the spelling so anonymous function okay so how do you define it same first the way you write get used to like this get users this is how you write the anonymous function so this is a normal function in anonymous function what you do is you give a name and you give it give a name to the function and say equal to function that's it see how simple it is so here you're not giving any name so this is a variable which is having a method as function right so this is get users see this is how we write and these are extremely important because we can pass we can pass a function as parameter now right so let me show you an example of that so when you want to call it let's say i have one more function i'll say function display users which i will pass a variable right so i'll pass i'll pass a variable uh, this i'll say func name right and this is a method so here i will say func name right okay so now what we are doing here is basically we are passing this as a display users and then we'll pass get users as the see now we are passing get users as the this is get users you see so i have passed literally a function as a parameter right this can only be done using anonymous functions right it cannot be done with a normal function so yet another important thing to know because you will come across a lot of code where you're seeing that a function is passed as a parameter and you should not be surprised right passing a function as parameter is possible because because it is it is anonymous anonymous function right okay pardon my spelling mistake all right so the last thing i want to cover is arrow function right now arrow function is yet another important thing how do you write that so let's say if i have get say get departments right i have a method like this this is how we define usual regular method in javascript now what we will do we will change it into arrow method right so how do we do that so first we will so let's say it's taking parameter right id so what we are going to say we are going to say equal to id and arrow method right and we don't need it here right so now this is your arrow function right so what it does is um, it's nothing but uh, it will take this particular let's give value so it will take a variable and saying that this is a function arrow method right so this is how you write arrow functions now if i choose to it's just like any other function only thing it it saves time you don't have to write entire thing again and again all right now let me also add inside the arrow function okay all right so now let's call this like this is regular calling it's just a regular function there is no change inside the arrow functions right so there is no change in how you call it only these are the different ways of calling it right and if you also remember we in the previous episode we have seen prototype right so if you have a function you want to extend it you can do that also so let's say i have this particular department right now i can say this with using prototype right so if you have a method like this get departments dot we can say prototype dot we can create a new method right that we want to add to it say um, get department by id right so you can you can basically create all that and you can have it the way you want to declare it right so you can define any method of uh, using extending prototype that you want to use right so again we'll say function right so here it is in console.log and you want to set a value inside this that you want to use you can use that right so this is a, a simple example so more or less um, 
extending the function right okay so so we see we have covered uh, quite a bit of things here i would request you go down slowly learn each one carefully that we have just learned because these are extremely important from interview perspective from working perspective when you start writing code you will come across this so write functions write functions with params right practice this then try um, anonymous okay uh, again i always screw up in the spelling anonymous maybe i should read learn it for once and for all anonymous okay function and then try arrow functions then try um, extending function using prototype right type we also did basics of objects right so try creating objects functions function with parameter anonymous functions and extending functions with prototype so do this in the next episode i will cover the global object another yet another important aspect and then we'll we'll be ready to take our practice of node.js to next level these are the foundation basic topics that you should be knowing before learning node.js thank you so much drop in your comment feedback questions queries i'll be happy to answer them thank you so much see you soon